Okay, my son. Drogo Azur. Now, he is brave, which is great. Just, that's perfect for a man named Drogo. Um, a pack probably would be the best. Overall, they're quite similar, though. Let's look at their traits, then. Huh. I'd probably go for Tolun, because he is a brilliant strategist. Um, that's probably the better choice, really. This guy's some good ones, though. Good intrigue and good learning. That guy's terrible learning. Hmm. Interesting. How about Tolun for now? We trust him for now. How many men do they both have? Three fat... Oh, wow. He is generating his own mega army. We're going to have to be careful about this. We need to be worried about this guy. He's uh, building his own army. Damn him. Let's spend some money as well. Let's buy some more stuff. Um, Clan Gavarin Hall. We could build some more sheep. Sheep too, apparently. Horse breeder. Defense goes up. That could be good. Um, nomad tax. Horse archers offensive. Ooh, that could be good. I like that. Hunting parties. And it's really cheap as well. Yam. Armor crafter. Ooh, lots of good defense there. That costs a lot of money. Cultural technology points. Camp fortification. Don't really need that, to be honest. Let's go for the uh, hunting parties. Okay, we've got some raiders here. What the hell is going on? What are they doing? Get out of here. Get out of my land. Could make him a tributary. I guess. Could subordinate him as well. He could get most of that, actually. We could attack him. I guess he's probably quite weak. He is pretty weak. I could just attack him and take his lands. That's probably a good idea, actually. That's probably a good idea. If I can't attack this guy, I'm worried about his growth. Has, it up, has set up Pope as an anti-Pope. Pope Anastasis. Okay, so we've got an anti-Pope at the moment. Interesting. Why would you do an anti-Pope, Carla man? Do you not love the Pope? Everyone loves the Pope. I've got another group here now as well. Jesus, why is everyone attacking me? Well, we're going for these guys. That's where we were going. Let's chase them away. Okay, they're actually running away. Let's go back here then. They're going to stay now. God damn it. Go out there. Okay, let's wait for them to escape. Yeah, it might make sense to attack up north then, get their lands. I didn't want to really. But it might make sense to do it if we want to get more powerful, I guess. Really, if you can get your clans to join you, you're pretty powerful. It's just whether you can convince your clans to actually help you, I guess. It's kind of one of the tricky parts. Okay, go back down now. Take care of them. Oh, has inherited the clan. Ah, so it's like he died. Excellent. I did say that would probably happen. He's minus 51. Not too bad. Not too bad. Why does he not like me? Short reign, religious differences, title claimant, clan sentiment, liege is cruel. Yeah, all those things kind of seem reasonable. Khan Bayanka. He's Slavic. Oh, yes. Yes, it's the Slavic one. He's diligent, lustful, gluttonous, arbitrary, deceitful, charitable. we got three different religious leaders now. Ridiculous. Ransom prisoner. For 10 gold? Of course, thank you. That would be nice. New chancellor. Okay, well this guy's quite good at injury. If I get him to like us, that'd be great. Okay, Wu Yu, you can be the new guy. Get that guy to like us. Perfect. Okay, this guy likes me a lot though, so that's good. But we're in a better position now than we were before, so that's good. Let's end the feud. No. He'd still not end this feud. Damn him. Okay. There's a lot of religious tensions going on here at the moment. Um, probably another ransom. Yeah, we'll do it. Thank you for giving me back my brothers. 
Um, they're going to go off and make a name for themselves. Cop T, you can go join a mercenary band. Do it. And the same for the other one. Saru, you can go as well. Good luck. Good luck, my half-brothers. Have fun. It was a good experience for me, after all. <laughs> that guy's so bad. Uh, okay. Can I convert to my local religion? No. Apparently not. No longer guardian. Okay, well, let's uh, sort this out. Steward. Looks like that guy died then. Ooh. These are both seven. We'll make him it because he's my vassal. Make him like us hopefully a little bit more. Collect tributes. Can that be bad? Extra contribution. Go to this one. Perfect. Okay, let's see what this guy thinks of me then. This guy actually likes me as well. That's good. He's ill. Um, deceitful, patient, envious, just. Okay, that's good to see. Khan Kor. Okay, his, his... Oh, died in battle. He died in battle in my war. But he's actually married to my half-sister, so that's good. That marriage we made then works out in the end. That's good. Okay, you need to be trained. Uh, why can't I educate you? There you are. The best fighter. Now, how about we go for Blush then, for now? For now. He's got good learning and intrigue and fighting, and then we could change maybe. That guy's Craven as well, so that sounds terrible, yeah. Don't want to make our son Craven. New commander. He lowers it. He lowers a lot of stuff as well. He's uh, just not good at leading from the center, so how about you then? So we defeated that army. Carla Kid. God damn you, we need to destroy him. I need to attack him. His free allies, though. But it doesn't look like he can call in any of them. Bolga and Bozak. Yeah, he's at war right now. This guy isn't at war, but he has 2,000 men. I guess we'd have to bring all these men back as well. So I could declare war now. I have allies as well, my vassal. Um, I have a vassal. Okay. I think we should declare war. I think we need to expand our realm a little bit. I say I could attack this guy, it would be easy. But I wouldn't mind if my vassal did that. He could easily do that as well. I think vassals can attack. But yeah, I'm not sure if he will. But I think we should definitely go for this guy. We, need, we need to weaken him a little bit, I think. Can we invade yet? Can't invade yet. Yeah, it's not going up enough, so we're going to have to go for subordinate. Uh, but just that nearby Tengri rulers can join. Yeah, that could be a problem. That could be a problem, just because he's Tengri. Damn it. Okay, we should just attack this guy then. Maybe we should after all. But no, I want to go to the rich western lands so we can pillage them. Yeah, I don't want to go up north. I want to go to the west lands and pillage them. That's what we want. Oh, Byzantine Empire's in trouble. Had a bit of a rebellion. Sweden. I really hope Sweden can, like, reform the faith. That would be really nice to see them do. King Randver. Overthrow Khan faction. What? Okay, there we go. So one of my cars actually attacked him anyway, so that's good. That's good. That's exactly what I wanted. Overthrow Khan. What is going on here? What are you doing, Kor? You like me. Ward honorary title. Kunda. Same gift. Too much. That's just too much. Oh my god, my manpower just completely gone. <sighs> not good, not good. Form a blood oath. How about we have a blood oath? Yeah, I might as well. Might as well do it. That should be good for us. Still has it. Still has it. Why would you do this to me? Ah, there we go. We now have a blood oath. So no more faction. Perfect. 
Uh, apparently I've become infirm. Well, that's not good. Uh, you are actually attacking him. What for? Conquest of Otakun. So you're just taking this one place. That's good. Okay. So my vassal's going to expand himself, which is kind of nice. Ooh, but he has quite a lot of men. And is he going to go help? Okay, he's actually helping one of his allies. Interesting. So he's going to help his own ally. I'm probably going to die. Which is kind of worrying. I guess we're 55 in firm. We'll probably become Katan, who is the possessed, maimed one. Jesus. But he's quick. I, I would probably rather, though, become Kor. I'd probably rather be him, to be honest. But then again, his diplomacy is terrible. To be honest, everyone's terrible. All my family's terrible. But they're all Zoroastrian, so that'd be quite nice. Uh, well, Manichaean. Be nice to go back to Manichaean. I do like the Manichaean. Okay, looks like he'll be fine. Yeah, looks like he'll probably be fine. 3,900, Jesus. He's managed to get a big army. I'm actually kind of worried. 3,900 men? How has he done this? What are, you, what are you doing that I'm not? I'm a little worried about that. Now, he should be fine there. Let's have a quick look. Unused manpower. 1,800. Okay. He has a lot of unused manpower. He's going to be a big problem, actually. This guy can have 8,000. Yeah, this guy shouldn't be a problem, really. But the other guy, yeah. He's a problem. He's definitely a problem. Now, he's definitely going to win that war, which is great. Kind of. There we go. He's expanded our realm, which is kind of nice, but still. It's made him more powerful, which I do not like. Probably just uh, 14. One more place, and we can have another clan. Yeah. I think. Max number of clans. 5, 15, 3. No, it'd just be 3 then, won't it? So it have to be 16, so we need 2 more. 2 more places. And then we can kind of make another clan. He's finished that war. Bozak seems to have lost to Kazaria. But Hal seems to have grown. Bulg uh, the Bulgars. The Bulgars. Okay. What's this uh, civil war about? Lower crown authority. Okay, makes sense. How is the religious going down here? Yeah, she has taken over. Wow, she has really grown down there. Sunni is actually doing pretty bad. Mirphysite, uh, Zoroastrians, and Mazdaki. Yeah, wow, Mazdaki is actually kind of coming out in force. Uh, Sumanusko. <laughs> Counts as that Slavic. Oh my god. That's kind of, kind of ridiculous. Slavic's kind of surviving. Romavu is still surviving. Germanic. Okay, so religion-wise, there's a lot of religions at the moment. The world is very split up when it comes to religions. Oh, and there's a revolt. What is this for? To install Gergin. Ah. Oh, so you want to become the lord yourself. He wants to try and usurp him, it looks like. I probably should give you a piece of land. I probably should give you this one. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I would have one, two, three, four, five. Right now, I have six. He has five, and he has five, which is kind of nice. I like that. But I'm over by one. And also, he is pretty weak. Marshall. Okay, I'm going to give him that land because we're going to give it to him at some point anyway. Bash Balik. Okay, let's give him that. Just to get us under the thing. There we go. Gives him a bit more power. Brings all his lands together all combined. New Marshall. Okay, we're doing pretty bad for Marshalls right now. They keep dying. Now, who do I want? My cousin. Okay, you can be it. Someone's got to train this strong girl, apparently. 
who is my best fighters? I have, I have terrible. I have like no good fighters at all right now. I'm gonna go for you for now for her because it's better than nothing. Okay, does this gone down yet? No. Manpower. We have no manpower at the moment. We're definitely gonna need to wait a bit before we attack. This is disconcerting right now. But the clan thing is at zero, so that's good. This guy likes us completely, which is great. How about for you? You're still at minus 17, so we're almost making him like us. He almost likes us. Can we settle feud? No, not yet. Probably have to get him to like me first. 20 gold. Go on, then. Almost there. We're on a, on a title. It's Shad. There we go. Settle feud. No, damn it. He's never going to do it, is he? Nope. Oh, well, but he likes us. That's good enough. Uh, warrior servant with your half brother Saru has sent word to inform you that they have recently observed a marked improvement. Good going, Saru the Cruel. He's got his own name when he's been out and about. He'd actually be a good choice, actually. He's a pretty good marshal, pretty good intrigue. My heir, though, is still Katu uh, Kutan. And Kopti, of course. Kor. Yeah, we got a lot of brothers there. I have another brother as well who's still growing up. He's a bastard, so... My own son, though, is coming to age. What raiders? Okay, there's no raiders attacking me, but still. We could attack these guys as well. Last time I checked that you were allied to all the others, yeah. Those guys are all allied together. Which could be a problem. They're not that weak. 1,500. Ooh. He's doing pretty bad at the moment. He's attacking Bulger. Oh, he's attacking Wilf Bulger. Interesting. That means Bulger might not help him. And who are his allies? He has five allies. Jesus. Okay. Bulger. Bozak. Two clans now. Okay. So Bozak is quite small now. He has zero armies. Okay, what about his vassals? 1,500. Uh, he had... 1,500. That's 3,000. And he has another one somewhere. Where's his other tribe? Where's your other tribe? Do you have an army? Do you have another land somewhere else? Ah. I don't know. Let's have a quick look then. Let's check that out. Um, Son-in-law... Clan. He's he's with two clans. Okay, who's this then? Oh, so he's allied to a clan in Kazaria. Okay, so I think we should attack now. I think if we attack now, we'll be fine. Factions and whatnot. Can we do invasion? Oh, we could do invasion. Yes, perfect. That means no one else will come to help him. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, invasion, perm, no, Kumania. That's that's a that's a pretty nice one, like right in the middle there. Huh, that actually is a quite a nice one. Or Turkestan. I think I'm gonna go with Turkestan because we kind of go down this way. Yeah, we get all that land. That's a nice piece of land. We get all the way down here, which could be a problem, um, but I'd rather that than go up here. I think. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do that. Declare war. Invasion. Hopefully this goes well. Hopefully I've not made a big mistake. I should call our vassals armies. Um, call my tribes. Honor my obligation. Thank you. Thank you, my allies. Now, we should go in fast and hard. Let's destroy his army straight away. You guys should come to here. We're going to go straight in here. Okay, there's 1,700 up here. Zetsu clan. Okay, uh, you should not lead from the center. And I think that'll be it for today. I'm going to have to stop there. We're going to have to stop on a bit of a, a cliffhanger. We've just declared war. What will happen next? Will we be able to destroy them, take a lot of land, or will they be able to stop us? 
They might stop us, but we'll see next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed up till now. Uh, we've been the Azur, Kagan, uh, Horde, whatever you want to call it. And next time we're heading west, we will burn and pillage. Oh, and Franco is split apart. We'll look at that all next time, though. I'll see you guys. I've been NG Paradox. Good night.